It was not pineapple, okay? I died. I died. Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all see this huge big birth of wine right here? What does that mean? It means it's been a stressful ass week. So yes, yeah, so welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day. I am doing a collab with Tyler Ramney. Ah, he is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love his videos. I love his channel. I love everything about Tyler. Hi Tyler. Hi Tyler. I'm like a this like groupie fan person, right? <laughs> So now that I'm done fangirling, we can definitely get into the sushi mukbang. Y'all have never seen me eat sushi, and I'm just going to tell y'all right now that if you cannot handle a person eating sushi with their fingers, you better just uh, go because these motherfuckers, sorry, <laughs> these people did not give me any chopsticks. I like ordered curbside to go from the sushi place, and they freaking didn't give me chopsticks. Didn't give me nothing besides the sushi. So yeah. Let us get started with this collab. Don't forget to check Tyler out. So yes, we got some ginger here. Let's just take a bite of ginger because I love it. Mmm. Delicious. So the kind of sushi we have today. We have spicy, spicy crab tempura. No, it's called crunchy crabs. Crunchy spicy crab. It's not really tempura. And then we have a uh, raw sushi roll. And that's salmon and avocado and cucumber. And then we have another crab uh, roll, which is California roll. And we're about to get it in. And then we have some white Zinfandel. And this glass I call Big Bertha because this is about half wine bottle. And in case I get tired of doing it with my hands, I got a little, a little baby, a little baby fork here. But I'd rather do it with my hands because I don't have any chopsticks. I have nothing here to make into chopsticks. So let's just get at this, right? I got some soy sauce here. I should have got like a little dipping bowl, huh? That's okay because I got to use my hands anyway. We're just going to dribble, 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 dribble on everything because we're eating everything. And all I'll need is one packet for all this dang sushi. All right. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So let's start with one, right? Let's just start with a regular California roll. Mmm. Mmm. Hell yeah. That's good. Y'all see I do have some wasabi. So let's just put that little wasabi on. Maybe I should use this little fork. Maybe it's a little bit more dainty. Man, I don't know. Y'all can yell at me if you want. Mmm. 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 Salmon's about the only fish that I'll eat raw. So, with this collab... We decided to do, so two of us, both of us made up two questions that we wanted to answer, each other to answer, and then, no, we, yeah, so we have four questions. <laughs> We're so funny, right? So his first question was, where would you go on vacation if it was an all expense trip? You No, this is my question that I asked him, that, but we're both answering it. I said, where would you go on vacation if it was an all expense paid trip? You could choose anywhere in the world, and why, and who would you take? If I could go anywhere in the world on an all expense paid trip, I go to freaking Jamaica. Like, I've always had an obsession with Jamaica. I want to go see the beautiful waterfalls, the beautiful men and women. I want to go just experience that that Jamaican music and the food because I love Jamaican food, like Jamaican pork, pulled pork. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I just want to go there. And then who would I bring? Like, did you guys see Mommy Tang's video in Jamaica? Holy crap, like. Mmm. 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 She made Jamaica look like heaven. And I want to go zipline and do all that fun stuff. 
I could get married in Jamaica. I'd be fine with that. I'd live in Jamaica. That'd be fine with me, too. Maybe I changed my mind. I don't know. I love their accents. Who would I take? My son. No. No, 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 no. This is an all-expense-paid trip. Bye, Felicia. I'm not taking Colton. Because this is for me. This is right. I would probably take my best friend, uh, Angela, and my best friend, Chris. Because we would go, me and Chris would party it up. Angela and I would chill on the beach. Like, mmm. I'm going to fall in love and never come back. And why would I want to go there? Just to experience the new culture. Like I said, I've always been obsessed with Jamaica. That would be the first place I picked. Palm trees. Ocean. Maybe some hurricanes too. I don't know. I think it would be bomb as hell though. Oh, this wasabi is good. Look, watch this. I'll eat this whole thing, right? Some people can't handle, handle wasabi, but I like it. I like it a lot. That'll kick you up. So this is the crunchy crab roll. It looks bomb, right? Yeah. Mmm. What the hell? You guys. Excuse my French, but... They put freaking french fried onions on that shit. Y'all know what french fried onions are? That's made for casseroles, not sushi. Oh, what? What is that? It does taste good, though. I'm not going to lie. Really? Really? This has just been a fucking shitty day. <laughs> um, I found out some really bad news today. And I'm not sharing it, obviously, but it's just been a really bad day. <laughs> but I'm so, so excited to be here right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an interview with Tyler. Did I pass the interview? <laughs> so that's what I would do. I'll go to Jamaica, take my best friend. Next, he asked me if you won the lottery tomorrow, what would you do with the money? Do you think that would make your life better or worse? I think it would make my life better because I'm a single mom, right? But I get a little concerned when I say that because, um, I don't want to get full of myself, you know? I feel like a lot of people with money just get full of themselves and they forget the little things that matter. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I think it would make it better in general. But I might forget about, you know, the little things that we should be grateful for. I feel like it's more dainty when I'm using the little, the little fork, so not that I really care that much, but y'all know. Yes. Oh. Mmm. That's a big bite. Mmm. And then what would I do? Was that the other part? If you want a lottery tomorrow, what would you do with money? I would pay for Walton's daycare out of pocket for the entire rest of the time that he needed to be there. So I wouldn't have that expense. I would fill my wine rack up with some decent wine. <laughs> Not the cheap shit I get, you know. I would pay the rest of my car loan off and probably get a d new car like he didn't mention like what kind of money but I'd, I'd probably get a, a newer car because my car has no air conditioning and I need to get it fixed so why not I just get a new car at that point you know <laughs> if I won the lottery <laughs> I would give my dad money he is a farmer so he could always use money mm. I would choose the top 50 people 
that I could think of that have been so incredibly kind to me and generous to me and give them all a hundred bucks. It depends on how much money I would. If I'm like a 10, 10 billionaire or a 10 millionaire, like I don't know, uh, sorry, a millionaire or a billionaire, I don't know, I'd give them like a thousand or something. I'd give them, you know, anyone who's been the top 50 people that I could think of that have been so kind to me and helped me out, you know, and did things for me that I really appreciated and never could show how much I appreciated, they get mo some money from me. Life is not about money. But would I forget that? I don't know. Would you guys forget that if you became a millionaire? What about you, Tyler? What would you do? I'll be watching your video to find out. <laughs> and the rest of the money, I'd probably at least buy myself a nice condo. I don't really want a house. And then make sure Colton was set. I don't think that'll ever happen to me, so I don't have too many goals and aspirations, but yes, that's what I would do. <laughs> Say it was like a thousand bucks, I'd just paint my car off. That wouldn't even pay my car off. What am I talking about? If it was a thousand bucks, I'd pay most of my car off. <laughs> Anything I could, you know? This ginger's so good. I could just like keep eating it like this. I'm so sorry that this is looking so sloppy like how can they forget my chopsticks and I was not about to go back out you know oh this is so freaking good so they did say the calories in the rolls this crab rolls uh, um 400 calories for the whole roll salmon roll uh 350 calories this roll I don't know because it didn't tell me um what's a lot of calories that's right it's Friday right Mm. Mm. We got more questions, people. Oh, this is one of mine. What was your first sushi experience? Did you like it or dislike it? And what type of sushi was? My first sushi experience was when I was like eight at an Asian buffet that my grandma loved going to because I was raised by my grandma. And I remember getting it because it looked, you know, kind of like the salmon roll. Except for the salmon was yellow. So I thought that shit was, I legit thought that shit was pineapple. It was not pineapple, okay? I died. I died. Well, I thought I was going to die. It was yellow, it was yellow fin. Oh, yellowfish or something. And it was the fishiest fish I've ever tasted in my life. And it did not belong on a buffet. I died. Like, I would not eat sushi. I've only started eating sushi in the last five years. I've been so afraid of that yellowfin or whatever it's called. Oh, too scared for me. <laughs> it was disgusting. I avoided sushi like the plague. And then I started dating somebody who likes sushi. I was like, okay, I can try this sushi with you, right? And I actually liked it. The first thing I had, again, was the California roll because it was all cooked and things that, are, that were friendly. And this happened, it might have been more than five years ago. This happened right before I thought I had an allergy to seafood. <laughs> and so I had well it, but it was it might not have been because it's imitation crab anyway that was super good right so then I tried eel and I tried salmon I tried shrimp ones and then I stopped eating them because I thought I was allergic I thought I was allergic because I had one really bad allergic reaction to something at Red Lobster and I think it was just a seasoning that made me like cough and then I had a panic attack and then I thought I was dying and that was the last time I ate seafood. Until recently. I think I started up again actually like in the last year. 
you guys it's real <laughs> this is real okay so my experience my first experience was bad it was yellow fin something it was disgusting and now i like sushi again mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. i don't like it like sloppy like this is very sloppy i'm not going here again I'm like <laughs> And then they give me chopsticks, like, mm. it still tastes bomb as hell. Not gonna lie. Okay. And the last question is: If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, for all three meals, what would it be and why? for all one meal he didn't say just one food item he said one meal mm. rice i don't know how bad does this sound rice and morning star chicken nuggets so that's like soy chicken nuggets <laughs> I don't know if I can handle chicken, like real chicken, every single day. So I'm gonna taste. I'm gonna take soy chicken nuggets because I love chicken, right? But I couldn't handle real chicken every single day. But I could probably do the soy chicken nuggets. They are bomb. But it's a meal, right? So rice, those soy chicken nuggets. For a vegetable, I'd pick asparagus. And for a fruit, I'd pick pineapple. So if I had to have a meal like that, that I could have for the rest of my life, three meals a day, it would probably be that. And at the end of my life, I probably died because I stopped eating because I was sick and tired of the food I ate every single day. <laughs> you guys should totally answer that question below. If you had... To choose one meal to eat three times a day for the rest of your life, what would you eat? Mmm. Mmm. If I chose like a meat in meal, it would be meatloaf and sweet potato fries. Yeah. Sweet potato fries, yeah. If I had to do a different vegetable, it would be peas and carrots. Because you can't just have peas or carrots. Peas and carrots, okay? And then, my fruit would be raspberries. I'd be alright with that. No, 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 no. Screw raspberries. Give me grapes because then I can make wine. Right? Yes. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. while we're finishing up here don't forget to give me a thumbs up a like comment and subscribe don't forget to go to Tyler's channel like comment and subscribe to his channel let him know that I sent you okay and for all the people coming over to my channel from Tyler's channel hi I'm Anna welcome to my channel I'm so happy to have you here comment below and say hi to me I'm a pretty nice person. <laughs> Just as Tyler, I'm nice, right? Well, anyway, let's finish this up for a little bit of ASMR action. For all you ASMR people, that means I'm not going to talk for these last four bites. And then I will wish you a happy day, okay? So let's get this going. Mm, I'll give you a lot of wasabi. Here we go.
All right, you guys. Have a wonderful day. And Tyler, thank you for doing this collab with me. You're awesome. Okay, bye.